Is this light too strong? Am I too blown out or is it cool? No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Great. <laughs> Welcome back to the Morning Shift, your source for your hip hop R and B in the morning here on CHO 89.1. We just heard Courtney Cox from Connor Price featuring Idris Elba, and he's here with us today. Most known for his successful career as an actor, which took off at age 10, when he played the son of Russell Crowe in the Academy Award nominated film Cinderella Man. Toronto's own Connor Price is now showing his musical talent blending his old school focus and lyrics and wordplay and with a new school focus on beats and flow. Welcome to the morning shift, Connor. All right, welcome back. Holding it down right now, we got Connor Price in the house. How you doing, man? What's up, man? How are you? Thanks for having me. Well, welcome to the morning shift. I'm happy to get the time to sit down and talk with you. Um, You're blazing up with the new track that you just dropped called Courtney Cox featuring Idris Elba and uh, how did that all started how did you guys meet yeah crazy story you know it's funny we actually haven't like met in person everything we've done up to this point has just been on Instagram WhatsApp like all online yeah Uh, so the way that we connected was last year I don't know if you remember this Idris was in the news um, because he had COVID yeah he was one of the first like kind of celebrities to have it and so he put out this freestyle on his Instagram in April of last year of 2020 and he was rapping about his experience with COVID and his perspective on it. And in his caption, he wrote, I left the, the third verse open for anybody who wants to jump on. So I kind of you know, took this as a challenge and I, I downloaded the instrumental off of his Instagram. I wrote my own verse. I recorded it that night and then I put it up on my Instagram because I knew, okay, if he's inviting other rappers, this might be a chance for me to catch his attention. And I've always just been a super fan of his. And uh, so that night I posted it. I encouraged my followers to tag him in the comments, hoping, you know, we could just try to catch his eye. And nothing happened that night. But the next morning I woke up and I found out that he, he saw the post. He liked it. He commented on it. He followed me and he DM me saying like, yo, love what you did. Let's do a track. And which was like the craziest thing to wake up to. Um, so, yeah, from that point, we then moved communication to WhatsApp and we were texting ideas back and forth. I had this Courtney Cox song with an open second verse. I sent it to him. And he loved it. And gosh, like that same day, within 45 minutes after I sent it, he sent me back like an MP3 with his verse. Crazy. Like he worked so fast. Uh, Yeah. And that's how the song came together. We haven't met in person, but uh, we have a song, which is crazy. (laughs) That is awesome. And I like the fact that technology nowadays is uh, is that you can actually meet people, but not really meet them in a sense. And you can get uh, a lot of artists working together across the globe, coming together and making music like that. So that is completely awesome. Now, you are an actor. Um, you've been in such roles with uh, Russell Crowe, uh, with uh, Cinderella Man, uh, mm-hmm. at age 10. Uh, but you started at age 6. So what got you into acting? Yeah, so um, let's see. My little brother, so I'm one of five, but I have a large family. I'm in the middle of five. And my two younger siblings, uh, Thomas and Ryan, they're twins. And my mom was friends with this woman who started Twins Talent Agency in Toronto. And so when she found out my mom had twins, she's like, hey, there's some great opportunities because, you know, uh, when producers are looking for child actors, having twins is like the gold mine because what happens is um, kids under the age of, I believe, 16 can only work a certain amount of hours. So if you have two, one can work the eight hours, the other can work the eight hours, they get a whole day with them, they play the same character. You know, it's sort of that Cole and Dylan Sprouse type thing. When they were kids, they were playing the same character. And so, yeah, uh, child actors, when they're twins, they, they have the, you know, the opportunity to work a lot more. And so my little brother started and they did really well with commercials and stuff like that. And I saw how much fun they were having. So I tried it and then, yeah, I just sort of kept going with it. But that was my my entry point. So after acting, you got uh, you now moving into the music side. So what made you fall in love with hip hop? What was your first um, inkling of hip hop, the vibe and everything like that? Totally, man. Um, it, it was all, gosh, as early as I can remember, it was two guys. It was it was Lupe Fiasco and it was Eminem. So I um, I shared a room with my older brother for my, my whole childhood. And he's two years older than me, but he, he was definitely the... Uh, the tastemaker of the family like he was very much into fashion and music and hip-hop and so he was always just blasting lupe and eminem and because i shared a room with him it was all i was hearing 
And so, yeah, as early as I can remember, like, you know, Food and Liquor, The Cool, Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP, like those projects were just always playing. And of course, those two artists are extremely talented when it comes to lyrics and storytelling. And so I, I had always just loved uh, the storytelling aspect of hip hop. And I just, I fell in love with it at an early age. And uh, it was something I had always sort of done for fun with friends, like, you know, freestyling or writing little songs here and there, but never taking it serious. Um, but in 2018, I sort of just went for it. And I, I put out my first EP, which is called the Four of Clubs EP, four songs. And uh, yeah, luckily it went well. People really liked it. So I kind of just kept going with it. So with your writing skills, you're, you're going back and taking the old school format of, of storytelling, as you just said, uh, and you're taking you're adding on the new uh, beats and, uh, and, and vibes. Uh, mm. how, how did you come up with that idea and taking that and creating it into that sandwich there? Yeah, I mean, I don't really think that's like a new thing. I, I think it just became, it came natural to me because my influences, like I said, were artists like Lupe, Eminem, MF Doom, rest in peace. He's another guy who I just, I love. And so I've always definitely had a focus for lyrics, but um, you know, the production nowadays has just changed. And and I, I really love the, the, the new age, the new school kind of vibes that are out right now. And so it wasn't really something I necessarily came up with or thought of. I just naturally liked this kind of new production, but I liked writing from a lyric standpoint. And so the, the two just kind of happened like that. So my other question is, are you working on an album or are you just going to be dropping singles for the future? Singles, yeah. yeah. No, good, good question. So at the moment, um, I'm definitely taking the Russ approach. Russ is an artist who, when he blew up, was like putting out a brand new song every week. And so my plan is to do a brand new song every two weeks. I find, you know, as a new artist, a lot of people ha don't have the attention span to like listen, you know, and really digest full projects. And so the best way to kind of keep that momentum and that consistency is just having singles. And so, yeah, my plan at the moment is uh, rather than every week, every, every two weeks, put out a new song with a music video. Because I also love having visuals. Um, I direct my videos. I edit them. My wife, Brianna, shoots all of them. So every video I have up is just like the two of us, which is so much fun. And so I hope to keep doing that. So I have a new song with a video every two weeks. Now, if anyone hasn't seen your, your videos yet on YouTube right now, uh, my favorite is uh, Not a Typical Rapper. Uh, cool. I love yeah. it, and the fact that you have your son in it and everything like that is so cute. And your so dog. Wait, that's actually that's actually my nephew. I, I oh, it's your nephew. Yet, oh, I th oh, sorry, my, my bad. Sorry, my bad. No, no, ev everyone thinks that. Trust me, I, and and I, I I totally understand why they would think that was my kid. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's a great song. So what came up with the idea for that song? Honestly, that song was inspired. So the song is called "Typical Rapper," and it was inspired by. So, of course, like a lot of people in my life um, know me as being the actor. And so when it came around that they became aware of me wanting to do music, they didn't think hip hop was the kind of music. So they'd be like, hey, what kind of music are you working on? And I'd be like, oh, actually hip hop, like rap. And, and they would always say like, oh, you, you don't seem like the typical rapper. And so I, in my head, I'm like, well, what does that mean? You know, what you expect me to like be driving all these nice cars and have all these girls in my videos? Because that's not my vibe at all. It's like a married man. Um, and so, yeah, it was just sort of my response to, to them. Like, you know, I'm not a typical rapper. Like, here, here's me, you know, in my in the song, I'm rapping about how I drive a Jetta. Like, I'm just trying to be authentic and, you know, honest with myself. So, yeah, it was really a response to people who just were like, hey, you don't seem like a typical rapper. All right, let's get, I got some questions I'm going to just throw out at you. You can, you can answer them quickly or whatever you want to do. These are just rapid questions, all right? Let's so, I'm going to mm -hmm. start off with, first question is, what Canadian music artist would you like to work with? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, Drake is like the first person that comes to mind, but that seems like such an obvious answer. So let, let me think of something else. Um, gosh, and can, another Canadian artist. There's this R&B artist out of Mississauga. His name is Anders. Okay. Uh, he does like hip hop R&B and he's incredible. He's like an up and coming dude. Um, so yeah, I would say Drake as, as like the main goal, of course, who, who doesn't. Um, but yeah, I would love to, at some point this year, is, it's on my, my goal list to work with, and, uh, with Anders. That's awesome. Okay, next one. <laughs> this is going to be an easy one for you. Uh, what's your fav favorite Canadian hockey team? Oh, the Leafs. I mean, yeah, <laughs> growing up uh, growing up in Markham, which is about 20 minutes northeast of Toronto. Uh, yeah, it's got to be Toronto. Yeah, I, was, I, I, I put that in. I knew because you're, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm a Leaf fan myself. My uh, buddy got me into hockey, so I'm a Leaf fan. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, okay, another Canadian question here. Uh, Tim Hortons or Starbucks? You know what? I am not a coffee drinker, but Timmy's. I got to say Tim Hortons <laughs> just, be, just because... <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, my last question is, favorite chips, ketchup chip or all dress? Oh, ketchup, 100%. It's so funny you ask that. I literally just did a Q&A on my Instagram story yesterday. And someone asked, what's your favorite part of being Canadian? And I just posted a picture of the, the ketchup chip. Because yeah, you only get it in Canada. That's it. it's the only place you can... I think you it's do so, have it in the States so now, but I mean, I think it's only in Canada, Canada that you get it. Uh, yeah, I've seen a few like random gas stations in the States that have them, but uh, it's such a staple in Canada. But yeah. Americans are so confused when I when I say it because they've never heard of it. My wife loves ketchup yeah. chips too. So she, like, when I bring it in, the, the bag is empty when I, when I w- wake up the next morning. So she hates me for saying that. Love you, honey. You either, uh, you either <laughs> love them or you hate them. No one's in between. I personally love them. I think they're great. All right. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with me uh, for today. It was a great conversation. Hopefully, you, hopefully we'll come back to Canada soon and we can actually have a, like, a face-on-face interview. Um, now, I'd love that. Uh, quick thing, uh, where could people find you if they want to get more of your great music? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, my social media, uh, like Instagram, Twitter is Connor Price underscore. So just my full name with the underscore. Uh, unfortunate for me, there are many Connor Prices in the world, so I couldn't get the non underscore version. Um, and then as far as like Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you stream music, just type my name. My first name is spelled C-O-N-N-O-R. Sometimes people do the E-R and they can't find me. So yeah, just type my name on any streaming platform and all my music will pop up. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with us once again. Uh, I'll let you introduce your, the next song for us. Go right ahead, Connor. A- absolutely. Thank you. And uh, thank you again for having me. So uh, yeah, the song like we had chatted about is uh, Typical Rapper. Uh, so enjoy. <laughs> all right. Let's get into Typical Rapper here on The Morning Shift. Let's go.